All right, another new mower I picked up recently. Early 70s, Alice Chalmers 314D. Uh, 14 for being 14 horsepower. D meant this was a deluxe model. Comes with headlights, electric lift, and it should have a cigarette lighter and cigarette pack holder, but someone removed them, them two options. I'll probably try to, when I restore this a little bit, try to put the cigarette lighter in it to make it more back to its original. I've always liked this series of Alice Chalmers mowers, the 71s, 2s, and 3s, only because they were unique to Alice Chalmers. They didn't look anything like their simplicity counterparts in them three years, and there's a story behind that. I'm not going to get into the full history lesson on it, but I always wanted an Alice Chalmers mower, so I knew that this series was what it was going to be. Now this is the variable speed gear drive model, and there is a hydrostat model that I found. I'm working on that. I'd, I'd like to be able to get that here maybe this month if we can negotiate a price, but really wanted something else different to work on. And like I said, I really like the, the style of these Alice Chalmers. I, I think they were the one of the best looking ones they made. This tractor's in pretty good shape. Sad someone did cut the fenders. I don't know why. I don't, it came with tire chains on it, so I don't know if the tire chains were rubbing the original fenders and they cut them. So I am going to put the original, try to find a set of original fenders for this, but I really couldn't complain too much for the price I paid for this because it had brand new ag tires on it and the tires in the front are brand new. Someone did some work to this and they just never used it and they got rid of it. It does have sort of a makeshift exhaust on there. I'm going to put a more original exhaust on it when I can. The electric PTO was removed from this mower. Um, so I want to get the, the switches on the dash at least put in. If I can find a clutch, it's fine. Not a big deal because I'm not planning on cutting grass with this. It's got the original 14 horse Kohler on it. Someone put a new carburetor on it. And they did a lot of wiring, redid a lot of stuff on this. So it's not perfect, but it is not bad. I'll fire it up. This one runs just fine. <laughs> Like I said, it is a little loud with that, that homemade exhaust on there, but... This is totally different than what I'm used to. I grew up running Simplicities. We had B-Series and all different other kinds of models. We never had any Alice Chalmers like this, but... I will say the gear drives on these are far different than what I'm used to on a Cub Cadet. Uh, bevel gearbox. There's a little slop in it. It's not bad. I mean, it's not perfect, but this is going to be a show tractor and stuff. I'm going to do some things around the yard with it, but it's not going to get used extremely hard by no means. And axle seals are leaking just a little bit, but I can't complain too much. So I figured I'd go ahead and throw this new addition on here and like I said, hopefully I can get that Hydrostat model to have one of each. And I don't know if I'll get to it this year, but next year I'm going to try to do a few things with these. Maybe some chores around the yard and post them.